all right welcome back everyone this is christian so in this final video or lesson we're going to do two very simple implementations we're going to update an existing item or a pet and list here and also we're going to return or search for a pet using the index position okay so it's quite simple we have a lot of the other operations already in place so we can easily do that let's do the um update first i think that's pretty simple so let's go ahead over here and implement our code over here. I'm going to do a function called uh, replace, and we're going to replace the current key with the new key item. Okay. So we're not actually creating new, any any new um, you know node, which is basically replace the content. So uh, that's all I'm going to do. So first is we're going to uh, search the list, right? We search it, and then we're going to uh, return. Um, the no from the search result, but before that is the best case. Uh, base case. So if the self that head is equal to none, then return nothing. Otherwise, we're gonna do a her note is equal to self that search. We have the search key already. We're gonna search for the key. Okay, so it's gonna go out there and do a search. It comes back. We can check if the current node is not null. I mean, we found the key. Then basically we just do a current node that item is equal to the new item and then that's it, right? Very simple because we have operations already in place. So let's go see if this works. Let's go over here. And I know that our list is already empty if I run it again, right? So let's um let's remove some of these functions so we don't want to remove them. So I know this is already working. So I'm gonna go and delete um, you know, maybe all of these guys, uh maybe up to here. Okay, so I'm gonna comment this out. And right below here, we're going to um, just replace, let's say, let's put this again, let's see what it looks like first. Okay, we get a pretty long list right here, okay? So we have four of these here. Let's replace the cat, again, sorry, catty, uh, with another, um, another pet. So let's copy this uh, for now, and we'll put it right here. And we'll just say replace. And we're gonna replace the cat. So the cat, I'm gonna copy the cat here. And we're gonna replace it with um, a different pet. Let's go back to our emoji site. And let's choose a ladybug this time. So right in here, we're gonna replace a cat with a ladybug. And then we're gonna do a print and we'll see if that's correct. Let's clear the list here and run. Uh, let's see, did it happen? Uh, no, it did not happen. Um, it did not happen, right? Okay, let's see if we did it incorrectly. Um, the key is the cat and we're gonna return the cat. And it, oh, it's not, that's right. No, currently it's none. It's supposed to be none. All right, one more time. Let's try again. And here we go. Here we go. We replace the cat with the ladybug. So we're good to go. All right, so that's pretty simple. Now, the next thing is we're going to choose an item on this list. So let's say that, again, I'm going to turn all these off. We're going to save a lot of these pets up here. Um, we're going to uh, do right after, let's say, okay, this is pretty long, pretty good list. All right, so this is the pet one, two, three, four, five, six of them, right? So the index of that, I don't know if our size is correct. I think there's some errors. I never checked, so I, I doubt it. I, I think there's a few uh, bugs in there, but let's see. Print um, pets, it's that size. And we'll put around that. We'll see what happens. Size is four as you can. Yeah, it's not right. So again, this is uh, something that you may or may not choose to do. I probably missed by two. So maybe the insertion part is not right. And uh, you can also check to make sure that when all these are on, right? If I turn all these on, I mean, at the very bottom, I should have a size of zero right down here, okay? 
And if you check that, you see that I have a minus three. Yeah, so you can see that it's not correct. There should be one, right? So that when I delete, it's not update. When I add right, new ones, as you can see when I move, we move the head and tail, it's, it's not correct, right? So that means something in the code. So over here, you can kind of look at this. Um, yeah, that's why when you add new nodes, so we, we only update when we, let's see, a pen looks good. Uh, yeah, that's what pre-pen, same thing here at the end. We don't do here. We search nothing, answer after. Okay, we search after here. Yeah, so we did not update here. So after we added the uh, new note, we're right here, we need to put here um, self dot size plus one. We also want to return here actually. Okay, so that one's there. And so before we got it here, looks good. We move head, we do a reduction here. Remove tail, we do the same thing here, looks good. Remove item. Okay, remove item. Um, we did one here. Okay, but notice that we did remove head and remove tail. So when we did that and we subtracted again, right? Because the remove head and tail already subtracted that. So that means this one only applies to this part. Okay, not the entire if. If it goes here, we already removed it, removed one. Otherwise, we would move one down here. So this is probably the errors. Okay, so let's, I think we place, if we could not do anything here. So let's try again. All right, so clear our list and run. Uh, almost by one off, right? Oh, no, actually, it's correct. <laughs> yeah, it's correct because it won but later back in the end. So uh, that is correct. If again, if I turn, um, if I turn these off, right, the size should be one still. If I turn all of these off, okay, so you can see that we have six here and we have four here. So that's correct. Okay, that's good. So now we can turn this one off and then we can also turn these off and let's do uh, up here. All right, so way up here, we have a good list of pets in our um, data. Okay, so we have a lot of these here. Maybe I should really put that one so I can know what the size, it's kind of hard to see um, how many size we have. So put here um, size. Okay, so the size, In here, it's gonna be a size of eight. Okay, so good. So now we're gonna have a user ask, you know, up to eight pets, okay? So we can do that by going something, do something like this. It would say uh, index is equal to input. I'm gonna ask for integer input, uh, enter number, okay? Between one eight for that example. And because we do index positions, we're gonna minus one right away. And then we're gonna do a, something like pets list dot, and we'll do here um, a search, maybe search by index, something like that. And we pass in the index to that function, okay? So I'm gonna copy this function, make sure I do it right over here. And let's go ahead and create a function down here. Um, search index, and then we're gonna pass the index to this function here, like that. And so it's quite simple now, just say if again, is self head, is equal to none, then return uh, nothing. Otherwise, we're going to check the index. We will make sure the index is within the boundary eight here, right? So let's say we don't accept negative index, you know, also we don't accept any index larger than eight. So in this case, it'll be as minus as seven, right? So um, the index, remember we already did decremented by one, okay? So we make sure we do it right. But I mean that if the index is negative, if negative, we don't allow, or um, the index is greater than uh, the self dot size uh, minus one, right? If that's the case, then we just return uh, none. Okay, it's out, it's out of bounds. Otherwise, go ahead and do the operation. So it just could be the self head. And then we're gonna search again, um, this time we're gonna loop through that all the way to index. So if they pick like um, the position number four, that means it's gonna be from zero 
one, two, and three, right? All the way to that, and then we return that position and then return the pet. So here we'll be uh, doing the full loop for i in the range of index. And then we're just going to put a current node is equal to current node dot next. We just keep increment that. Uh, updating or advance the current node until the end. And finally down here, we find it, we're gonna return the current node. That's it, right? And we will see if this is correct or not. Let's go ahead and take a look. And let's see, I'm gonna run this. And here we go. I'm asked for a number, let's put one. I should get a lobster. And I did not get that because I did not print it. Perfect. So I return that position. And I'll put here, um, you know, pet is equal to that, okay? So return print pet. Yeah. Let's do it again. Forgot to do that. And one more time. Pet number one is the lobster. Here we go. One more time. We'll do the eighth position. That should be the lion. And one more time for the rooster, maybe. Let's clean this up. Rooster is number. One, two, three, four. So the rooster is in the four, and there it is. So you can see we did a lot of operations using linked list. There are many we can do. We did not do any sorting. Maybe I'll leave that as an activity for you to do that. Sorting does take a little bit of effort. Uh, there are a couple ways to do it. Um, remember, this is not an array, so you can't really do like binary sort and things like that, but you can certainly sort using, you know, a bubble sort or a merge sort and things like that. A little bit. Of, yeah, difficult, but um, there you go. I hope this is helpful and uh, hope you enjoyed this course. If you um, have any questions, feel free to ask and put a comment. I'll be more happy to answer. Thank you and enjoy.